guys, my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel, Only In Your Mind. On my channel, I do a lot of character makeups and I have a really popular series that I've done and it's my Lion King makeups. And I've had so many requests for me to do Kovu. So I decided why not let me do another Lion King makeup. So here's Kovu. If you guys want to see how I did this makeup, just keep watching. I'm back for this week and I'm using the strapless dress and I'm starting off this makeup with this white face paint and this thin brush to draw Kofu's face on my face. And it's basically a rough draft. Like I said in my intro, this makeup has been very much requested by a lot of people so I thought I would get this Lion King makeup out and hopefully in the future I'll be able to do more Lion King makeups. Now I haven't been doing makeup for a while because I had a leak in my studio. Oh and his tan color for around his mouth it's from Paradise. So about that leak in my studio it actually started in my bathroom which is the adjoining room you know right behind that wall so now my wall on the bottom has to be replaced and it needs to be painted and I need new flooring and the same thing with the bathroom and my bedroom so basically I'm not sure when I will be painting again because I have no place to paint this makeup was actually a makeup that I did about a month ago and this brown color is a mixture of colors um, from Fab, I'm using Indian Brown, and then from Paradise, I am using tan and a little bit of yellow in there. And then for his hair on the top or his mane, I am using um, that Indian Brown from Fab and then a little bit of black in there so you can see basically like the texture of his hair. And for his nose, I am using my favorite black from Chameleon. And if you miss any products that I am using, of course, it will be in my description box below. And right above his nose, it's a little bit lighter, so I'm using that tan from Paradise and a little bit of brown. And now I am filling inside of his nose, and I think I'm pretty happy with the way it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in with that tan. And I'm going to take that tan down to my chest where he has the lighter color of fur on his chest. And around that lighter color, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the brown to look as best as I could to match his face color. And of course, later on, you'll see me change it up a bit because the colors don't really match. But when you're mixing colors, sometimes you have a hard time and you have to go back and forth with the colors so they all match. And for his eyebrows, I'm using that same black from Chameleon. Before I did this makeup, I was working on Starfire from Teen Titans and I didn't like the way her makeup turned out. So I was going to redo her makeup when I found that leak. Oh, for Kovu's ears, I'm using Simba's ears that I used for his makeup and I'm just gonna trace it and then cut it out and then paint it and then use some spirit gum to stick it on the sides of my face. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a cookie break. This cookie was absolutely so good. So I had to take a cookie break before I worked on Kovu's mouth because once I have that paint on my mouth, there is no eating for me. And here is where I decided to let me go ahead and change up this color because it was way too different from my face. And now that his ears are done drying, it's time to finally stick them on with the spirit gum. And um, I'm not really sure when I'll be doing makeup. I'm really upset because I was happy with the way my studio was looking because I had my makeup studio on one side and my soaping area on the other side. So I was pretty bummed and still am because I am not sure when anything's gonna happen with my studio because my living room and my dining room has stuff all over it and I am ready to paint so back to Kovu's makeup now I just filled in the back of his head with some of that black and now I'm going in 
with a nice thin brush this is one of my favorite brushes to do some detail work and I'm gonna outline most of everything when I'm done with his little mouth I'm hoping when my studio is actually started and completed and it's all organized that I will be able to complete my Teen Titans makeup and it would of course be my Starfire makeup and she was the last of that makeup and um, my son said that she looked too much like an alien even though she is an alien her eyes were just too too big so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and have to redo that and then I'm gonna come back and try to do some more Lion King makeups I'm not sure who else I have but if you guys have any suggestions put them in the comments below and I will do my best when I have everything settled and done to add that to my list to do some more Lion King makeups now when I do my makeup sometimes I change up things midway through the makeup and I did with his mouth area I extended it a little bit higher that's why I am painting over the brown part and I think it turned out really great I like the way his mouth looks in this and of course I'm using that same tan color from paradise to fill in those areas of his mouth and now I think it's time to paint on his mouth I'm using light pink from paradise then I'm gonna come in with a black around his tongue area and then some red right above that which is also from paradise after looking at his chin I didn't like the way it looked so I took this thin brush and made his chin look like it was furry and I really do like the way it turned out and I'm gonna go in and fill in those negative spots because I got sidetracked and of course I'm gonna get sidetracked again because I didn't get to complete my shoulder area with that black paint because I saw I was missing his little teeth so here are his teeth and then I'm gonna go in and outline them with some black Okay guys, so I'm gonna finally complete the negative spots on my shoulders, do his eyes with some yellow uh, paint from Paradise, and then some green for his pupils, and then a dot inside, and then a white dot on the sides. Now, I just wanna take the time to thank you guys for sitting with me while I did this Kovu makeup, and I'm hoping that I will be able to get back painting pretty soon. I'm not really sure when that's gonna happen, but uh, if you guys bear with me, I will be back, hopefully, sometime, you know, in the next month, if not before. And, um, you know, I will be also making soap, so if you guys wanna check me out on social media, on my Facebook page for my face painting and also for my soap page, you guys can and I will see you guys soon. Thank you again guys, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching me do the makeup of Kovu from Lion King. If you like this makeup, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you wanna see the latest videos, hit that bell button and you'll be notified. And I will see you on my next video.